This is Live SBN. I want winners. I want people that want to win. Put that on Live SBN. We're going to annihilate the competition this year. Jesus! <laughs> Who is this guy? Big team effort there. Yeah. Live SBN, yeah. baby. <laughs> LevSBN and LevSBN.com covering levered IMs, opening up a new year, a new season, and a new run for the elusive Strauss Cup. This past Monday, Leverett opened the season with a volleyball grudge match against Kirkland. Since Kirkland knocked Lev out of the playoffs last fall, Leverett has completely dominated the series, winning two lopsided contests in the spring. Before the game, Ethan Cruzy feeling pretty confident about his new team. I mean, I think the core of our team's looking just as good as it always has been, so. We're just going to keep doing the same old thing. Early on, that confidence looked like it would be short-lived, though. Leverett came out like a team sleepwalking, and an experienced Kirkland team made them pay, jumping out to an early 7-zip lead. Lev finally getting back into the game, tightened up, and went to its most familiar connection, Mark Shepard to Dan Roy. Leverett battled back to tie the game, going on to win the first set, but not before Kirkland's Kelly Bodwin. Oh, you've got to walk that off. The second set, Lever began to show flashes of its old self with everybody getting involved in on the action. Sophomore Katie McMillan sparked the Lev attack on defense and offense, linking up with Dan and Eduardo Perez Torres. Looks like a great pickup for Lever Day Volleyball. After the game, she chimed in on her new team. I think I like to add a little bit of something to a game, but I don't know. I think we played well as a team. Can't take all the credit. There's a lot of, I mean, Dan and Ethan and everybody is really great. Uh, we're definitely going to win. We have some great players. We're going to work on cohesion, have a couple practices, but uh, we need some spectators, so y'all should come out and uh, check us out. Levered football kicked its season off on Tuesday against Kirkland. Playing for the first time after losing five starters to graduation, including quarterback Alec Blankenau. But Adam Purvis thinks there's reason to be optimistic. We got a new quarterback, Michael Golly. Great, great talent. He's a sophomore coming up, and he's just going to add to what we what we already have as a great, talented team. Mike Galley in his first start wasn't shabby at all, making some solid throws, running for extra yardage, and even helping Adam Purvis show off. You know, I'm seriously starting to think Adam makes routine catches extra difficult just to get on Lev SBN. I'm on to you, buddy. I'm on to you. Anyway, from the first snap, one thing was certain. This Lev team is fast. Kirkland's larger defenders couldn't cover these guys and had to counter Lev's speed by playing physical all game long. But as the game went on and the deficit got larger, physical turned into downright brutal. One Kirkland player had to be ejected, and refs called three other unsportsmanlike conduct penalties on Kirkland. As far as the defense goes, 75% of the world is covered by water. The other 25% is covered by lever defensive backs, or at least it would seem so, after Lev's defense forced four interceptions on the day. And part of that was in due to pressure by Paul Stavra... Stavro, damn. Uh, Kirkland with a trick play, but watch how fast Paul gets to the quarterback, forces the desperation throw, and Zach Sherwood is there with the interception. Leverett's 25 to six victory could have been even more of a blowout, but two touchdowns were called back on penalties. One thing's for sure, this team with a little work is gonna be a handful. Omar, uh, you know, uh, no tackles, uh, no yeah. catches, no touchdowns, yeah. no nothing really. How you how you feeling about your team out there? Well, you know, we did a good job. You know, I really had a solid game today. My average has gone a little bit down. It's in the negatives now. But, you know, I'm, do I'm doing well. I'm going to come out next time. Lev SPN. That's my five seconds of fame on Lev SPN, baby.